Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to all the students in Pakistan and Pakistanis elsewhere. And a great Sastri Kal to all my students in Indian Punjab and elsewhere. And a very good Namaste to all the people of India from Asad Yaqub and from Pakistan. Okay. So we are trying to crack IELTS reading and we are doing gender training IELTS reading and I'm making all these videos this whole series is dedicated to my those students who requested me to make videos on gender training IELTS reading. So now here we are the type of questions which we are going to do now is very very confusing for some students it's very very difficult whether it is listening or whether it is reading in both sub tests of IELTS multiple choice is very very confusing or multiple choice is a nightmare for many of the students now I'm going to tell you how to crack multiple choice in reading but this is gender training reading but don't worry at all gender training reading section 3 is almost like academic reading section 1 okay I just discovered it now gender training reading section 3 is just like academic reading section 1 so uh, those who are taking academic IELTS, still these videos are very good for you. Now let's take a start and we are going to solve this multiple choice and I'm going to tell you how to read the question, how to underline the clue words and or keywords and then how to scan the passage for that and how to find the answers. Let's take a start. Okay, now we are going to do multiple choice together. Choose the correct letter A, B, C, D and multiple choice is very difficult for some of the candidates. Don't worry, we will do this together. It's from the same paragraph, same passage where we did the list of headings. So let's start. Now first you need to read the questions and remember questions and passage they are in the same order one thing and second now you are very well familiar with the passage as well. Now the question is what was the main purpose right the main purpose of the international expedition doesn't it ring a bell that we read somewhere about it yeah in the passage what was the main purpose of the international expedition don't read the options now if you read the options now you are wasting your time and you will not understand anything first you need to see international expedition and after that you got to see the main purpose of that so we go on See, I already underlined, yeah, in the previous test, the primary aim of two and a half month expedition. Yes, I found it directly because I had already underlined. That's why the primary aim of two and a half month expedition, however, was now this is this is what the purpose was to collect eggs from white sandpiper. Those eggs would then be hatched in captivity nearby. Little chicks would be flown to wild fowl and what wetlands trust headquarters at Slimburg UK and uh, in order to establish a small self-sustaining population there these birds would provide a safety net and all that okay now we are going to see what is going to be the exact option for that a to add sandpiper eggs to an inter in, uh, international frozen egg bank no to maintain a small group of sandpipers for future generations yes I tell you why come back here see they say the primary aim of the two and a half month expedition and all that then they say uh, be hatched in captain nearby later the cheeks would be flown right uh, wild fowl and wetlands headquarters at Slimburg in order to establish now this is the purpose in order to establish a small self-sustaining population there in order to establish a small self-sustaining population there what was the main purpose of the international expedition to maintain a small group of sandpipers for future generations so b is going to be the right answer to make an audio audiovisual record of the russian sandpiper colony no to protect a colony of wild sandpiper through a breeding season no let's go on question number 35 what do we learn about the drop drop means decline what do we learn about the drop in the sandpiper population now first we need to see where are they telling us about the drop in the sandpiper population and remember as I told you the answers are and questions they are in the same order now we are going to go ahead after 34 and we are going to find it there 
let's see okay yes i found it i had already underlined it drop and decline they are the same words now let's see two main factors are responsible for the sand piper's recent rapid decline the ongoing destruction of stopover habitat on its migration route and hunting on its wintering grounds okay the development of new industrial cities is destroying former tidal areas just this one where sand pipers and other migratory birds used to rest and refuel okay what is happening the development of new industrial cities new industrial cities is destroying former tidal areas where sand pipers and other migratory birds used to rest now what's the question you must be clear about the question what do we learn about the drop in the sand piper population okay now we see what's going to be the answer a the birds are increasingly being hunted on their way north to russia no scientists are managing to reduce deaths from netting considerably they didn't even talk about it no efforts are being made to protect some of their coastal habitat sites no economic growth now see the link economic growth is one of the underlying causes of the decline drop and decline economic growth now how economic growth if you come back here it's written very clearly the development of new industrial cities industrial cities are the outcome of economic growth because of economic growth there are new industrial cities so that's why the development of new industrial cities is destroying former tidal areas where sand pipers and other migratory birds used to rest and refuel so this is actually the reason so what do we learn about the drop in the sand piper population economic growth is one of the underlying causes of the decline d now let's go on we've got 36 which feeling did the writer express when the sandpiper cheeks hatched now we need to quickly go to the place where the sandpiper eggs hatched and the cheeks came out okay cheeks not cheeks cheeks cheek is the other one part of body cheeks uh, which feeling did the writer express now the feeling when the sandpiper cheeks hatched so we got to check the feeling of the writer let's see uh, about the hatching they were talking about it here let me see we read this potential mates and yeah they were talking about mating so of course it's the outcome of that the first one was the team then selected and all there it was early arrival witnessed my first whitesman was sent oh yeah here now here they say i witnessed my first uh, spoon build sand piper hatch i had been lying inside a wind battered hide when the first tiny chicks emerged from the eggs now feeling of the writer we are looking for the feeling of the writer having hidden a microphone near the nest i could also just hear their first calls later i watched them stumbling through the 15 cm high jungle of grasses on comically oversized legs and feet but my joy was tempered by concern that's the feeling see that's why you guys like me <laughs> but my joy was tempered by concern now actually you might think it's the joy but joy was tempered by concern concern means worried not joy actually worried but my joy was tempered by concern difficulties on their migration route and all that now let's go back and see which feeling did the writer express when the sandpiper cheeks hatched a relief that his long wait was over no surprise at the sound of their song no worry about birds of the same species yes now worry okay worry here and just see here my joy was tempered by concern but my joy was tempered by concern so this means actually it's worry see amazement that they could walk so soon no okay now we are left with one question and that is 37 the writer describes the sand piper the writer describes the sand piper's unit at wwt slim bridge to emphasize now to emphasize on what the writer describes the sand piper's unit at wwt first you need to find where the word wwt is and then you can find about it so let's see 
WWT and they are in order so we need to go on there we will find WWT yeah I got it young cheeks were flown to WWT slim bridge now what we need to find out is the writer describes the sandpiper unit at WWT slim bridge to emphasize to emphasize on what let's see okay slim bridge last year and again this summer a high-tech biosecure unit has been built okay a high-tech biosecure unit has been built for them there it is divided in two with the older birds in one section and this year's cheeks in the other all right to minimize the risk of infections staff change into full body all right staff change into full body overalls and rubber shoes wow and wash their hands before entering now what are you understanding from all this they are not saying it directly but indirectly what we understand a high-tech biosecure unit has been built for them there it is divided in two with the older birds in one section and this year's cheeks in the other to minimize the risk of infections staff change into full body overalls and rubber shoes and wash their hands before entering this is actually what we call care hygiene is crucial even a single strand of human hair could harm the cheeks by becoming twisted round their leg or bills so this is what they are saying all about it now uh, the writer describes the sandpiper unit here they are saying a how much care is being now see how much care now the word care has not been used how much care is being devoted to their welfare they did not use the word care but all the things which they mentioned here they are all about care hygiene is crucial right then they sing high tech biotech then people have to change full body overall they got to wear rubber shoes and all that stuff so this is what they are saying for their welfare they need care how much care is being devoted to their welfare a is the right answer now what is b how much money is being now stupid silly answer huh his surprise at how fragile the young birds are the young birds are fragile but they don't show his surprise his confidence in the technology available now all right so a is the right answer this is how see there the crosses and the takes and all that so this is how you've got to do this type of questions i wish you all the best welcome back once again here i am see that so now you should say rather you should repeat after me multiple choice is not a problem or say multiple choice no problem i can solve it because i've given you all the tips about multiple choice so this is how we crack multiple choice if you like this video hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel i deserve it now okay and i've got another channel asad yakub vlogs there i upload some separate videos you can watch those videos as well they are related to english and ielts they can help you with your ielts preparation as well Apart from this, I teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. And don't forget to comment if you want to learn some more things. If you want to learn some specific things related to IELTS, please contact me and comment about that. And definitely, I'll get back with a video. And that video will solve your problem. Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best from Lahore, Pakistan. And once again, a great hello to all the people in Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Saudi Arabia, UAE and wherever Sri Lanka I've said already wherever you watch my videos a great hello from Asad Yaqub to all of you. Take good care of yourselves. Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best. Take care. Allah Hafiz.